I sold my balloon business. which feels so weird so weird I'm the owner of bespoke balloons for another four days I think so today Monday Tuesday Wednesday Thursday is handover day where I hand over my van I hand over my office I hand over everything and I'm feeling so weird about it I also woke up feeling very stuffy this morning which is so annoying because I have so much to get done but that's okay, the show goes on. Um, I'm trying to do as much as I can today without having the van, which is kind of frustrating, but it's in getting its roadworthy, so that is fine. Um, but yeah, a little update for you. Now, it has been a couple of months since I actually sold my business, and I think now is the right time to sit down and tell you all about how I sold it, why I sold it, and when I sold it. If you've been following me for a while, you would know that I've shared a lot of content around my balloon event decorating business, how I got started. I've also shared other businesses that I've started, plus some daily vlog stuff, a huge range of content. But I wanted to come full circle with the balloon business side of things because as per the title and the intro of this video, I have sold my balloon event decorating business. Now, that might come as a bit of a shock to some of you, but this is something that has actually been in the works for a few years, actually. And in this video, I'm going to explain that in more detail. So I'm going to give you a little bit of a timeline um, as to how this all panned out. So over five years ago, I started my balloon event decorating. Up until the end of 2019, so December 31st, 2019, I was working full time before then. And I was doing the balloon business as like my side hustle. However, the income that it was bringing in was enough for a full time income. And I was made redundant um, at the end of 2019, so December 31st, 2019, New Year's Eve, Happy New Year to me. I no longer had a full time job. Now, it wasn't bad because I was given six to seven months of notice, um, and I obviously had my balloon event decorating business, and I also had my eyelash extension business. So, when I knew that the redundancy was coming, I was so excited to actually spend time just working in my own businesses. And I'm sure that's probably when a lot of you guys started to see me in 2020 sharing my content on YouTube because that was something that I'd always wanted to do. And obviously during the pandemic, my business was completely decimated, which again, you probably would have seen from the videos. But if you haven't, I'm going to give you a quick timeline. So again, finished up at my full-time job, New Year's Eve 2019. 2020 was my big year of working on my businesses solely and I was so excited. January of 2020 is usually pretty quiet for us. We're usually closed from mid-December till mid-January anyway for summer holidays here in Australia and it's just a quiet time of year for the balloon aspect of what we were doing in our business. February, my partner and I went to Bali, so February 2020. Actually, just quickly on that, I'm currently in Bali. So I'm ticking off a bucket list item. I'm currently in Bali for a month solo. I will share more of that at the end of this video. Um, but yeah, if we flash back to February 2020, I went to Bali with my partner because March, April, and May of 2020 were going to be the busiest months ever on record for my balloon event decorating business. And we wanted to get a quick holiday in because we weren't sure if we were actually going to be able to because the rest of the year was looking going to be super busy as well. So when we came back to Australia at the start of March 2020, that is obviously when COVID kicked off. Now I've spoken a lot more about this in my other balloon videos that I'll place on the screen here. So if you want to know more of kind of what happened and what we did and sort of the things that we were able to bring into the business during that time that really paid off, definitely check out those videos. But Basically, in summary, um, during the lockdowns, the first lockdowns we were closed, the second lockdowns we were able to pivot the business and we brought in a heap of new processes that just streamlined everything. I built a website. I also kept buying stock and supplies. So whilst a lot of businesses in other regional towns or major cities were closing their event decorating businesses, I knew at some point we were going to come back from this and be bigger and busier than ever. So I kept buying. Now this all leads to why am I selling my balloon business? So basically my original plan for selling the balloon business started back in 2019. My original plan was to spend the first six months of 2020 building the business up and then look to sell it in the second half of 2020. Obviously when we came home from Bali in March 2020 and the pandemic hit, it was just never going to work out because it would be an awful time to sell the business. 
So whilst the pandemic was playing out, I continued to grow the business and basically from March 2020 to January 2022, that was when our business was You'd see a little bit of recovery, but it wasn't back to what it was pre-COVID. Whereas February 2022 and onwards was just flat out. Like 2022 was just a crazy busy year, especially because I kept purchasing all these new structures and backdrops. And it just, all of a sudden our weekends were so busy. However, obviously during the pandemic, I had built an online following. I really spent the time during the pandemic doing stuff that I'd always wanted to do. I've always been someone interested in content and creating and building a following and building businesses and sharing snippets of my life online. And if you follow me on TikTok, I've grown my TikTok following to over 1.6 million. And I've just, I really enjoy it. It's something that I really enjoy doing. So while I was doing things that I'd always wanted to do, I still knew at some point the balloon business was gonna come back really busy. And something else that I am gonna mention quickly during the pandemic, what I did was I had a lot of people interested in how I started my business and how to get started because running a balloon business is low cost to start up. It's a high profit business if you're making balloon garlands. And I had people that were interested. So that's when I brought out my balloon garland courses. Now I have two courses. One is a short course that basically teaches you the essentials of like how to build a garland. And the other one is a business course, which is basically if you're wanting to start a balloon garland business, you would buy that course because it'll give you everything that you need to know about starting a successful and profitable business. So back to the timeline, I reckon it got to around maybe June, 2022. And we had a couple of trips coming up. We had friends weddings that were out of our hometown. We had had one in uh, Cairns in Queensland and we also had a wedding over in America. So instead of keeping the business running and hiring staff during this time, I would just close a business. Anytime that I had something on weekends, which was fairly often, we had so many weddings. If you look at my Instagram feed, we had so many events and stuff on, which was amazing. But my thing with the business is that I'd learned from over the years, even if I had staff working in the business, I couldn't switch off. Like I just couldn't switch off. I couldn't enjoy myself at these things. So it worked out so much better to close the business over those weekends, block out ordering and enjoy the events that we had on. A little bit later in 2020, I'm going to say around like September is when I realized I'm holding the balloon business back. We were obviously turning away work on the weekends that I was unavailable. And it wasn't just that, it was also that I felt like I'd started to miss out on a few things. On the weekends, I didn't have big events. My friends were doing stuff and I was like, oh, sorry, I might not get there. I've got events to do. And it really took me back to my planning in 2019 of that I knew I didn't want to be doing the balloon business for 10 plus years. Like I knew I loved the business. I really enjoyed it. It gave me a creative outlet. And if you've seen from all of my other videos, all of the positives that business brought me at that time in my life when I was full on hustling mode, working full time, doing the balloon messages around it, doing the balloons on weekends. I loved it, like I fully thrived, but I'd moved to a different part of my life where my partner was no longer working. He previously used to work on a farm and he was working seven days a week. So him going to work on the weekends, me going to work on the weekends, felt like I wasn't missing out on things, but his work has changed. He now does five days a week at a different place and he has his weekends free. And for me to be going off doing balloons, I was kind of like, I felt like I was missing out on quality time together. And as I said before, I felt like I was holding the business back. I was blocking out weekends. I was also capping the amount of orders we would take on, which was stupid because the business had so much room for growth. We were literally turning customers away and I just didn't know how that was gonna go future wise. I was like, what's the point? Like I'm holding this business back from what it could potentially be. And I felt like, I felt like it was time to sell. So I think it was October 2022 was when I really realized that I I think it's time. I think it's time to look into selling this business and figuring out what my next moves are in my career and what I'm doing. So I, <laughs> it was kind of weird because selling a balloon event decorating business isn't something that happens all the time, especially not in my hometown. So to figure out how to kind of do it, I worked with my accountant and I sort of already had a plan um, in my hometown. I was definitely one of the first businesses doing balloon garlands and installs of that type. However, since I had started, there were multiple other businesses that had began as well. So my first point, my first point is to get on top of all of your finances. That's something I talk about in my course is to have a really good 
good accountant and keep track of what's coming in, what's going out for your business. And because I had consecutive years of that, it definitely made the process so much easier. Um, when it came to figuring out a price, it was something that I had to be comfortable with and we were basing it off previous figures plus what we believe the business was worth and all of our stock and everything. So I'm not going to go into the finer details of exactly what we sold the business for and what we advertised it for, just out of respect to the new owners who I love and I'm going to speak a little bit about them in a second. But yeah, I worked with my accountant to figure out all of the documents and everything that I needed to actually legally sell the business. And then it was kind of up to me how I wanted to go about it. So I actually reached out to other businesses in my hometown and just said like, hey, like heads up, um, we're looking to sell. Would you be interested? Um, we wanted to reach out to other event businesses in the in our hometown before advertising it sort of like to everyone um, and we had a fair few businesses that were interested but they were interested in buying our stock they weren't interested in taking over our business which is completely fine I completely understand it whereas our business had heaps of future orders it had processes in place I could basically guarantee from the moment whoever took over they would start getting messages for future orders and I felt like that was so valuable, including the website. Like we had a fully functional e-commerce website that allowed to do daily deliveries whilst they were turned off during the selling period. It's something that could easily be turned back on if the person buying was able to do it. The only goal that I really set myself was that I wanted to go into 2023 not owning the business. That was sort of like the timeline. I was like, I want to start fresh. I want to have 2023 as like the year that I'm not crazy hustling all the time. So when we started to get those responses that other businesses weren't willing to buy our business, they didn't see the value in it, which is completely understandable. I was like, I sort of got to a crossroad and I'd said to Buds like, you know what, I'm fully content with just like closing the business and calling it a day, closing that chapter off and being really content with that. And it was him that was kind of like, you've got such a good business to sell it. This would be perfect for someone who's creative and wants that creative outlet or maybe two people. He's like, it's a perfect business to walk into. Like it's, it's process driven. It's not hard to do. It's not hard to teach. So with him saying that, I was like, you know what, fine, we'll just advertise it. So I advertised it on my social media. I, as I said before, I had all the documents, everything ready to go. I had sort of an email blurb written out. So if we had any inquiries, I knew what to send back to people. Um, and I put a post out. And I think within 24 hours, I think we had between 16 to 20 different emails. And some people's emails, you could instantly tell that they just wanted to know the price and stuff, which is fine. Like people are gonna be nosy. I'd be doing the same if I was like, if I wanted to know, I would do the same. But you could tell from the email. So we had probably, I reckon out of those say 20 emails, I reckon four of them were genuinely interested in potentially buying. But I wasn't going to sell to anyone. Like I, this was my baby. This balloon business had been my baby from the get go. And I wasn't just going to sell it to anyone. I wanted, I wanted my customers, like in our business, we had so many repeat customers. I didn't want them having to deal with people who I didn't feel comfortable with. Um, but out of the five, there was one group that really stood out and it was a pair of sister-in-laws. Um, and they are, I honestly couldn't have found better buyers for my business to take it over. Um, we went back and forward for a few days and then I invited them to come for a walkthrough. This was obviously something I wasn't going to invite everyone to. I had, I think out of the five, I'd invited three, but I obviously canceled them after meeting these girls. So um, they came for a walk through and I showed them our entire office. I showed them all of our stock and then I took them to our storage unit, which is where we stored a lot of our structures and equipment. Um, and they put in an offer that night and I accepted. And it was the weirdest feeling. I didn't let myself get excited. I really held myself back until like contracts and stuff were signed. But even then, once the contracts were signed, I felt like I continued to hold back my excitement and joy for it because I was like, now we've got to do the training and everything. Um, but it's weird Like looking back, I'm so proud of myself. I'm so proud of the business that I created. But I'm also proud that I'm helping other people succeed in business. Like I have created an amazing business and I know from the time that I spent with the new buyers of the business that they are just going to thrive. We've got so many big ideas and it really reminded me of myself five years ago when going into business and being like so excited and you're so dedicated to its success that you like, it's just, it was really nice. So I found buyers, um, 
we figured out our terms for handover, what training was going to look like because I wanted to train them on everything. I was like, I will give you whatever you need from me. Let's figure out what you need. I already had a bit of a training plan written out from my history from when I worked at my corporate job and we offshored the accounts to India. Um, I kind of knew what a handover would kind of look like, especially because it was my business and I knew everything about it. So I already sort of had that figured out and it was just figuring out with them if there was anything additional that they needed or if we were just sort of good to go with the plan. And to be honest, it was a mix of both and it just worked out perfectly. Like training the girls was different to training any team member. I think that's what I was comparing it to. I was comparing training the new owners to training staff in the past. And it's completely different because they have an invested interest in it. Like they just pick things up so quick and were so eager to learn. Like it just made the whole thing so easy. So sorry, my camera just died. So if the frame looks a little bit different, that's why. But as of the 1st of December 2022, the new girls took over and I had sold my business. We'd fully closed things over. We'd done full training. Um, as part of our contract, I was to stay on until the end of the year if they needed me for anything. But I'd always said to them, like, you can reach out to me whenever. Like, training them was like hanging out with friends. It was, it was a really really fun and supportive environment and I, I really enjoyed those few weeks of training. So yeah, December 1st, 2022, business was handed over and all of a sudden I was like, cool, now what? <laughs> the other thing was too, is they also purchased our van. So I was not gonna sell to anyone who didn't have a van. Um, you, for, this, for the sort of work that we were doing, you needed a van to be able to complete the work. They also took over the office space that I had. So you would have seen that in a lot of the videos that I've shared, they took over all of that. They obviously got all the stock and everything. I really wanted, when I decided to sell, I wanted it to be something that someone walked into, everything's there ready to go. All you have to do now is start fulfilling orders. Like, and, and for me to train you, like that's, that's what I wanted. So yeah, I sold the business and it has definitely been, a, it's been for me personally, a bit of a roller coaster since selling because I was so, I'd been doing that for so long. I'd also been doing my eyelash extensions for so long and I feel like I'm going through a little bit of like finding myself in a way, like not finding myself, but more like finding the right balance between work and like, I don't know, going through everything that I've always worked towards. Um, and I'm going to speak more about that on YouTube this year. I really want to start sharing more. As I mentioned at the start, I'm currently in Bali, which is a bucket list item for me. I've been to Bali. I think this is my sixth, sixth trip, I think. And something I always had on my bucket list is that I want to go to Bali for a month and I want to have like a working holiday. I want to be able to do work from my laptop, earn some sort of income and be able to base myself here. And I'm ticking that off my bucket list. I'm here solo. I'm here for a month and I'm stoked. I'm so happy to be here. I had a bit of a meltdown before I got here. Um, I think it was just a few nights of lack of sleep and just feeling really emotional about like leaving my comfort zone at home. But now I'm here, I'm loving it and thriving and really, really enjoying my time here. So I plan on sharing more. If you want to see more of my Bali holiday, you will see it on my Instagram, Instagram stories and my TikTok. I'm also sharing stuff on my YouTube shorts. So you'll probably see more of that as well. But yeah, that is why I sold my balloon garland business. I would still recommend a balloon garland business to anyone of which the time frame works. So it's predominantly weekend work. If, if you're someone that's maybe in a relationship or you've got young kids and your partner works during the week and you want your own creative outlet, balloon garlands is perfect because it's predominantly weekends. You kick your hours, like it's low cost to start up. Balloons are a, an affordable item. You just have to learn the skills and if you've watched this far, I'm going to give you a significant discount off my courses. So previously I've done 50% off, but if you would like to try my courses, you can for 65% off and I'll leave the code on the screen here. These courses are perfect for anyone wanting to get into a balloon event decorating business. You might think, why are you talking about these courses? You've just sold your business. Wouldn't you want to learn from someone who has done a full circle in business? Like I have seen other people advertising their balloon garland courses and I don't think they give you everything that you need to know. If you purchase my balloon garland business course, you also get access to our private Facebook community where you can ask questions. I'm still in that group. I'm still answering questions. I'm still there if you need help or support or you have questions. 
But yeah, that's it. So I have two courses available. I think I mentioned that already. One's a short course. So if you just want to learn the basics of how to make balloon garlands, this would be perfect for someone who's a parent and doesn't want to have to pay for them. You want to be able to make them for your kids, but you want them to look really good. That would be the best course for you. The second course is a balloon garland business course. So that will give you all the business info that I have. Basically everything that's been up here for five years, I'm giving it out in a course. So they're the two courses that I have. I really hope you've enjoyed this video. I wanna say thank you for all the support I've had since starting to share all of my business stuff on YouTube over the last two years. And maybe you found me from TikTok too. I obviously, <laughs> TikTok's my primary platform. I now have over 1.6 million, which is crazy. I'm actually going to bring out another video on TikTok and my recommendations for 2023. But thank you for watching. I really do appreciate it and hope to see you in the rest of 2023 across all of my new videos.